In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the wheels on an angle grinder. First, a little nomenclature. Obviously, this is an angle grinder with a guard. This is called the spindle. You can see we have a variety of different wheels and discs. This is a backing flange or backup plate. This one is called the locking nut and goes on last. Or you can use this, which is used with the sanding disc. It's called the lock nut. The first thing you want to do is remove the power, so unplug it or remove the battery in this case. And make sure your safety guard is on. Here you can see someone has broken off the wheel and the sanding pad from this grinder. All grinders will have some sort of spindle lock. In this case, it's right here. If you hold it down, you can remove the damaged wheel with a gloved hand. You can see this has got a broken backing pad, and so I'll simply replace it with a new one, a new sanding disc, and the lock nut. I can simply tighten this by hand, and it's ready to go. To remove this, simply use a, a glove and rotate this counterclockwise. This is a grinding wheel that has a hub already included on it and so you would simply install this by rotating it onto the spindle without any backing plates. Again holding down the lock button. You can tighten that into position. This is what they call a backing plate and you see it has a little raised boss in the center here and a notch in the back. So you want to align the notch with the spindle until it clicks. Next you can install a cutoff wheel like this and it sits right on that boss. This is your lock nut or flange and it has two sides. One has a, a boss or a raised ring in the center and in this case you want to use the opposite side. So we're going to spin that on and then we're going to depress the spindle lock and use our included wrench to tighten that thing on. Here's another type of grinding wheel with a depressed center and so you can use that same backup plate with the raised ring, center it and in this case you want to flip over this locking flange. So, the side that has the raised ring. Spin it on and tighten it up. To remove the wheel, you simply reverse the process, pressing the spindle lock, and in this case using the wrench to unscrew the flange. In this case, I want to use a flap disc I would use the same backup flange with the ring in the up position, center it, and here I want to flip this around so this is my flange, I want to rotate it so the ring is up, and you can see that easily tightens. So now you know how to install a variety of grinding wheels and sanding pads, and so you're ready to go.